Hello, welcome to another figure review. Today we're looking at the American Infantry in 176 scale by Matchbox. The packaging depicts some of the figures from the range uh, on a hilltop, defending uh, the ground, the high ground, uh, and it's typical Matchbox fare. Uh, I'm not sure if Doug posted this, it doesn't actually have an artist signature on the box that I can see. Uh, but, you know, the usual type of thing uh, that Matchbox were uh, renowned for in the day, nice artwork, and gets the message across of what's contained in the box. Also on the packaging, you have, as per usual with Matchbox, uh, some figures denoted on the side. And there you go. The usual kind of carry-on with Matchbox shows the figures that are there. On the other side, you will have some more the equipment, uh, mortar, flamethrower, radio operator, bazooka, and 50 caliber browning team. Uh, again, they show some more figures on the side. Here you have the kneeling chap on the right-hand side there, if this will focus with uh, the grand. A uh, radio operator and an officer with a 45 caliber pistol. Uh, on the back we have a painting guide. Again, usual matchbox carry-on. Um, you have uh, Humbrol colors listed here. Again, if you're looking at some of the conversion charts online, just be careful because some of the uh, the paints have changed over the years. I used, if I remember correctly, uh, 72 for the webbing. 63 for boots, uh, 116 for the pants, and 108 for the jackets. Um, very, very simple to put together, just humble enamels, and I put a wash over them. As usual, I use the Citadel, this chap here, Nullin or Nullin Oil. I have used other washes before, but I find this to be the best, to be honest with you. Um, very simple, very straightforward. Give them a coat of it, uh, let them dry, and off you go. Make sure, of course, that the, uh, the figures are dry before you apply the uh, the wash that's the main thing I normally let them dry for a day and uh, do them then after that um, so that's the packaging very straightforward these guys of course were released again by Revel um, in let me just check the date here 2011 so there you have the Revel box nice artwork on the Revel box this time around actually I don't normally like the uh, artwork that uh, Revel did for the new releases but uh, or re-releases should I say but I do like this one the one thing I have in question however is how calm this chap is back here with all the action going on around him there's a shell burst behind him a bazooka being fired and a 50 caliber browning not to mention the uh, various small arms that are uh, going off around there and he's still trying to make a call but anyway I think the background is quite nice as well it's kind of European town um, you know, could be Aachen or someplace like that looks quite good uh, and the back then again as per usual with Revel and most manufacturers you will have a painting guide all the paints here are Revel's own brand paints fair enough no problem at all um, and you have a kind of a two-tone coloring here as opposed to uh, on the back of the matchbox box which we'll just show you again was a, a single um, kind of a uniform color there so there's the, the difference there a little bit more thought put into the Revel ones, perhaps. So, they uh, are in 176 scale. Let's have a look at the sprue for you. And there's some figures in the background there where they reach over awkwardly here for the sprues. So, two sprues. Here we go. Let's see if we can focus on that. Uh, similar kind of plastic uh, to the uh, the original ones. Um, nice and crisp, actually. No flash at all on these. Uh, some of the re-releases I have noticed over the years, because I have quite a few of these uh, Matchbox re-releases, re uh, did have some flash. But uh, the American ones in this particular box are quite crisp, in fairness. Not uh, any discernible flash, really, there. Uh, as you can see there, you get, uh, what is that, six uh, standing riflemen, um, two flamethrowers, two officers, two guys with binoculars, mortar team, radio operator and four grenade throwing guys again the usual scenario with matchbox in a lot of cases you have a guy chucking a grenade who doesn't seem to have any other uh, any other weapon um, you get two of these guys saluting which some people have argued there uh, is a, a tank man but uh, i've painted him up a little bit different to that i'll show you that in a moment uh, let's have a look at the other sprue there for you on this sprue again you have a uh, 50 caliber browning let's turn it the right way around there's the 50 cal. Um, you have the mortar, standard uh, matchbox mortar, you know, fairly basic little thing. It depicts a mortar, how bad, you know, you couldn't really complain. Um, you have uh, several submachine gunners firing from the hip with the uh, that M3 grease gun. You also have another type of uh, grease gunner there with uh, firing from the hip also. Slightly unrealistic pose, I think. Uh, also, interesting enough, uh, some of the matchbox guys appear to have uh, very, very small or short, stubby necks. Um, you've noticed that in some of the sculpts must be just a trait of the sculptor at the time. Two bazookas, uh, several guys advancing with the, the rifle and fixed bayonet, and several guys firing the grand uh, 30 caliber semi-automatic rifle in uh, a kneeling position. So quite nice. 
Um, interestingly enough, uh, the figures were released by uh, Revel, as I said there, a few years back. It's now 2017, so they're out in the market a little while. But in the meantime, another company called Mars released this particular set here. Uh, US Infantry with 37mm gun. Uh, box art there looks like it's, I don't know, stolen from the... You know, still from Saving Private Ryan or something similar, or maybe they're reenactors, I don't know. Uh, but in this particular box, you've got 32 figures for, and four guns, and these are advertised as 172 scale. Um, although, to be honest, which I don't think there's any major difference, I'm not sure if these were licensed because they're not very, very good quality, but perhaps they were, I don't know. Uh, the back of the, back, of the, back of the box uh, displays the figures that you will get within. So you get the guy with the binoculars, you get a mortar team, 50 cal browning team, a uh, little 37mm uh, gun. On. The the chap we were talking about earlier, whether we didn't realize whether he's from a, a tank unit or not, I'll show you my guy in a moment. And a guy supposedly operating the uh, the 37 millimeter gun. There, uh, quality on those particular figures isn't great. We'll just have a look at the original original guy there with the binoculars. I'll just put him beside that figure just for comparison's sake. And while I pick up this, this is what comes in this box from Mars. Rough very rough i've cleaned this up with a scalpel not great similar consistency to plastic in fairness now with a bit of cleanup they do turn out okay and i'll show you one or two that i've painted in a minute um but also you get this 37 millimeter, millimeter 37 millimeter gun which i haven't fully assembled because it's just a bit of a waste of time and to be perfectly honest which i don't need any in my collection at the moment i have some 37 millimeter guns from another manufacturer so uh this particular one isn't really going to be used to be honest with you um i might glue them up together, let my young fella paint them, and uh, let him add them to his collection. So that's the uh, the Mars re-release. Uh, is it pirated? I don't know. Surely they couldn't have pirated, could they? In this day and age? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. So that's the Mars. So basically you have uh, three options there to uh, put together some figures. Speaking of figures that are put together and painted up, here are some of the guys that I did. I hope that focuses for you there. There is the 50 caliber Browning team. Now, just as a comparison, this one here is the Matchbox. And this one, which I see over here, is the one from Mars. Okay. Um, just to have a little look there. Um, this one is definitely the Mars one, yes, because the base is slightly higher. I can see that there. I don't know if you can actually see the little ridge there on the uh, side of the base, but that tells me straight away that that is the Mars release um, but I actually have the Matchbox assistant gunner with it there but they paint up okay in fairness it's not the worst um, just for comparison's sake there's the original Matchbox uh, guide there I haven't painted any of the Revell ones in this little bunch that I have here um, but you know they turn out quite well uh, as I say a little bit of a, a wash over with the, the Null and Isle by Citadel which uh, again is this stuff here I use that on everything. Just find it to be very, very good. The mortar team here. The mortar, that's actually from the Mars box. Uh, a little bit rough, but it does the job. Um, the figure there with the uh, his arm elevated, that's from the Mars box as well. Um, but it's a matchbox guy on the ground, um, as you can see there. Based on a beer mat or something like that. So, you know, happy out. Um, some of the other figures that are there. That focuses, yeah. You can see there the guy in the back with the radio, uh, the guy to the left there with their bayonets. Um, the officers, I did three officers here in uh, three different color jackets just for a little bit of variance. And uh, the control units on the war games table so that I can identify them even more easily, just helps a little bit there. Uh, flamethrower in the back, submachine gunner. There's the guy with the binoculars waving, kind of an iconic pose. This is the lad here we were talking about earlier. Let's get him front and center. Um, I've kind of painted him up as a, an officer, you know. It could be, I don't know, Bradley or someone like that if you wanted to. But nice for a HQ group if you're playing rapid fire or something of that nature. Uh, tried to put three or four stars on his helmet there. I think I used a beard hair um, as a brush to try and do that with my shaky hands. Um, at the back there we have the guy chucking his grenade. I'll just bring him front and center here for you. Um, so yeah, nice, uh, kind of a classic matchbox pose actually. You'll notice that uh, I actually painted the grenades different colours, because in reality you would have had a fragmentation grenade, phosphorus grenade, you know, whatever else, and they were colour coded. 
or smoke grenade even. And over here we have uh, the rifleman at the back, the other submachine gunner um, there in the front, uh, kneeling rifleman, and you have the uh, bazooka guy at the back there. Uh, they are 176 scale, they're fractionally smaller than some of the uh, current figures that are out there in 172. But generally speaking, they match up okay with the likes of Plastic Soil Company and some of it, some of the others. Uh, some of the Revell guys and maybe some other brands there look a little bit small, but you know, mix and match is appropriate and you'll get on fine. So that is the review of the Matchbox American Infantry in 176 scale. Again, as I say, Matchbox, my favourite brand, purely from a nostalgia perspective. Uh, I will be reviewing all the Matchbox uh, range, well, the World War II range. I won't be doing the NATO Paratroopers anytime soon uh, in 176 scale, but uh, maybe at some point I might do some conversions involving those. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, that you uh, are modelling away. And uh, I wouldn't mind uh, if you had some comments. Um, constructive criticism perhaps uh, to uh, put in the comments below. Thank you very much, thank you for watching and we will see you next time with another video. All the best, bye bye now.